No, no, guys, we don't have $50,000 to spend at the Raleigh Card Show. We've got, I've got $38 to spend at the Raleigh Card Show in 24 hours. Can we do it? We've got 38 bucks. Actually, I spent a little bit more than that. We're going to talk about some of the pickups. I'll be right back. Hello, sports card collectors, investors, all of my collectibles, friends. It is another day. It is another card video. This is going to just be a quick one. I went today with my youngest son, who is a big Pokemon card collector, really Pokemon, Pokemon everything. He loves Pokemon. And so we went, and actually, I thought that it was the Raleigh Card Show, which typically has like toys and comics as well, but it was actually more of the toys and comics show. And then they did have some cards, but it was very limited. But fortunately, there's one particular stand there at at the show that has a bunch of Pokemon stuff that my son likes, but then also there's a guy that just has like flawless, immaculate, and all sorts of different autos, Hall of Fame, baseball, and football auto cards. So I was like, okay, cool. We'll hang out here for a little bit. And so this guy, he did have some nice stuff. And I was looking at kind of there's there was baseball, some high-end tops baseball stuff. But then he had some really cool football stuff. He had an Earl Campbell flawless auto that I was looking at, a Mean Joe Green flawless auto, which you don't really see a lot of on-card autos for him. The price point was just not quite there yet. So I went with kind of one of my favorites, Fran Tarkenton. And this is, is it flawless or National Treasures? I'm pretty sure it's flawless. Yes, it's numbered out of 15. Just a good looking signature. And I've, I've been looking for some nice, nicer raw cards that I can send off for grading. So this is one of them, the Fran Tarkenton flawless. And then same price, actually these were $100 each, and this one, uh, the Marshall Falk, it is the game used immaculate, and it's kind of that triple patch with a pretty good auto. The auto's kind of coming off a little bit there, hopefully it's it's okay, but I just like the fact that it's Falk in the Rams gear, because that's where he really did his best work. I know that he was a cult uh, at one point as well, but of course he won the Super Bowl with the Rams, and was, he was a terror with Kurt Warner and the greatest show on turf. A lot of times with the football autos too, you'll get them, they're nice, but they're in their college unis, which I don't really mind the college unis, but anytime I can find the pro uniform and it's got a nice, everything's kind of working, the price point is good, then I like that stuff. Also, a couple things that I got in the mail, uh, this is one, I had already shared it on IG, but this is the 2015 Fleer Retro Marvel set, and this is the, the Impel 1990 Auto Black Panther. There's not one of these in the 13 set. So while these are not as difficult to find in 2015 compared to 13, it's the, the Black Panther didn't have one in the 2013 set. So this is a card I've actually been looking for. I saw this card. I was haggling with another guy uh, for this card over a year ago, and it just kind of came back up. <laughs> it came back up to where I was like, all right, I've got to see if I can win this one. Uh, so I won that one. Um, and then this is one was an online exclusive. Steve, Steve Harrington, Stranger Things. This is an, was an online exclusive set that was released each week going back a couple of years. They were releasing four or five different cards. This was one of them. And I just kind of like that, that style. It's a very 80s looking card. And then this is a biggie. This is a big one that just came in. It is an 11 auto. It's numbered out of 25. So this is kind of one of the, these are not easy to find, um, the, the 11 autographs. And then also, uh, this one's numbered to 25. So again, makes it just kind of extra scarce. I was haggling for this one as well for a little while. So excited to pick that up. At the Raleigh show, my son also did find some shiny Pokemon cards. He was actually really pumped about a couple that he found. He's funny how he gets into like, he's into Gen 4 right now and certain legendaries and stuff. So it was kind of cool to watch him flip through binders and then pull out the ones that, that he wanted to get. All right, guys, obviously not the $50,000 spend video, but we've got jokes. We've got jokes. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for joining. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. I will talk to you again later.